5 foot 6 inches, blonde, loves researching and discussing the origins of everyday words. Yes. And that comes from the Proto-Germanic Rakjanan, which comes from the Gothic of Rakjanan. What is this girl you know talking that? about? Yeah. Rak? Well, maybe if she shut up, I'll be able to get a gander at her rack. No, that doesn't sound exciting enough. Again, my benchmark show that the Google Chrome browser on the Mac is 3.2 times faster than on PC. Speaking of fast, I wonder how fast I can get her bikini off. Maybe I'm not putting down the right information on my profile. I'm not going to get a date this way. Hello, my dear students. I was just filling out my profile on date.com when Leonard from my website asked me, why a date? You know, when you ask someone out on a particular date, why does that imply a romantic get-together? Why not call it an interlude or some other word? Hmm, hard for words, must investigate. Hard for words. Date comes from the Latin data or datum, which means given. Given? Or perhaps it's because you give a rose, for example, to your date. No, it actually comes from the delivery of letters. In ancient Rome, when a letter was given to someone, they wrote on the letter, given at Rome on January 1st. So people took the first word, data, and made it to mean date. So a date meant a time, and then it meant an appointment with someone and then around 1885 it gradually meant a romantic liaison with someone. That probably happens from men calling their romantic liaisons dates so that the women would feel less uncomfortable. There you go, another mystery solved by your trusty hard forwards. For your homework, do you call your romantic liaisons dates or something else? Bye-bye my dear students, be good.